I said at the Kaisal this morning before the Tefillah Snates, and I want to share with you a very, very important message about preparing for Shavuos. The Torah we know is, an, is Or Ein Sof, is our grasp on Or Ein Sof. In fact, the Gemara in Shavuos, Tav Kupdal, it writes, Anochi Hashem Rokech, Anochi is a notricon, it's an acronym, it means Ana Nafshik Sivayavos. Hashem says, I put myself into the Torah. Hashem put his very essence, his infinite essence in the Torah. Ana, I, Nashi, myself, my essence, Ksiva, in the writing, Yavis, have given to you. Hashem has given us his infinite essence through the Torah. The question is, as finite beings, how can we accept it? And the answer is that we have to make a vessel. Right? We have to make what's called in Kabbalah, Oros and Kalim. We have to make a Kali. And Hashem will fill it up with His infinite light. But how do we do that? So I wanted to say, tell you very briefly today what I understand from uh, my teachers, the G'dayli Ador, that the way to make a keli, to accept the light of Shuas, to accept the infinite light of Torah, is to work on ourselves that we shall have complete achdus. The more Jewish hearts, which are united together as one, right, the bigger the vessel is. If you have ten Jewish hearts which are united, and you have a certain amount of, of orange soap, if you have a hundred hearts, you have even more. If you have a thousand hearts, even more. If you have six hundred thousand hearts, all of the neshamas of the Jewish people united together, then you have an incredible vessel which can receive a, a very, very great amount of light. And that's what we had at Har Sinai. As Rashi says, Ki ish echad v'lev echad. We were all united together with the same purpose, with the same goal. We weren't thinking about ourselves. We were just thinking about every, everyone else. Yeah? If every single Jewish neshama does everything they can, as much as they can, in order to think about other people, then we will receive a very, very great amount of the infinite light of Torah on Shavuot's Bezrat Hashem. But it's not easy. It's not easy to be Ish Echad, Belev Echad. Because Ish Echad, Belev Echad means I have to give up something of myself. I have to pull back, as it were, something of myself, and to let the infinite light in. The more that we pull back, the more room there is in the keli, and the more light they can go in. Pulling back, as we've spoken about many times, means removing kina taiva and covet from our hearts, jealousy, honor, and desire to remove it from our hearts. The more we remove these um, these interfering feelings from our hearts, the more room there is in our heart for the infinite light of Torah to enter. And the more we do that, the more hearts can join together. Right? But stopping Jewish hearts from coming together is jealousy of other people. If there's jealousy, then that's a repellent. The hearts don't come together. If there's taiva, Rabbi Yonah says, taiva yivakish nifrad, right? that running after taiva, the Pasuk in Mishli says, will make people separate. right? And cut Covet means I want honor for myself. Give me special attention because I'm something special. There's halachas about honoring Torah scholars, honoring our parents, honoring even our older siblings. It's true. There are such halachas. But we shouldn't be road of achara covet. The Mishnah says, whoever runs after honor, honor will run away from, away from him. And whoever runs away from honor, honor will run after him. Even though it doesn't seem fair, he doesn't want honor. Why is he running after him? Because the most honorable thing a person can do is not to want honor. Because when you don't want honor, Jewish hearts come together. When you don't have jealousy, Jewish hearts come together. When you're not pursuing your desires, Jewish hearts come together. And the reason they come together, the glue that binds us together as one, is the fact that when when the Jewish hearts are emptied of their physical uh, desires, jealousy, honor, and um, and and desire and um, and desire, then there's lots and lots of room for the or ain't so Hashem to into light. And the more that the Jewish hearts are united one, the more light comes in, and the more that the hearts become united. And this is the avoda before Shavuos, right? You have a friend or neighbor, right? Think about their needs. You have your spouse is going through a hard time. Think about their needs. Your the person who's next to you in Shul, your kavrusa. Your um, your child, your relative, anybody. Think about other people. Think about their needs. Think about what you could do to them. And Chazal tell us one of the best things you could do for someone is to smile at them. 
right? Because like we said, when you smile at somebody, they feel you're smiling because of them, and that gives them joy in their hearts. And when they have joy in their hearts, they have the energy that everybody should come together and unite as one. And this is what's going to bring the Gula, right? I'm sitting here at the Kaisal, watching all of the um, righteous men who have gathered here early in the morning to pour out their hearts before the Rabbani Sholem and to unite together as one in the numerous minyanim that are here at the coastal. And I ask everyone to do it likewise, right? Bring, let's try to bring all of our hearts together. Let's try to be united as one, the Shwas, and not to be thinking about this Machlokas and that Machlokas, this one and that one. This one is the leader, that one is the leader. This one's in charge, that, that one's in charge. All of these things are just disturbing us from the greater goal, which is to unite as one and allow the infinite light of Hashem to penetrate our hearts and to fill us up. And if we do that, then soon we will have the base of English back. We'll be back on the other side of the wall, even though Chazal tells there is Shechina here, right? There's a, there's a tiny drop of Shechina was left in the base of English here at the Kaisel. But we don't want a tiny drop. We want a lot. We want as much or ain't so as we're able to um, accept. And that will depend on our Shavuot, our Avoda, how much we can unite our hearts as one. We should do this um, with the greatest passion that we're able to um, arouse in ourselves and all unite as one, the Shavuot, and be Zeichel. We should merit to see the Golish Lema Amen Kainratzah.